Well, what I think, I think is needed in all areas, and this is needed in our media, our regular television and radio media, newspapers and so on, is the idea that you can sit there and have a conversation about science, about global warming, or about evolution, let's say, in a context in which the question of whether or not you, what you're speaking of is valid is not even being asked. Mm -hmm. And that's not what we have in this country right now. Right. That's what we need. Keish Marine is a blog that does that, mm -hmm. but of course all of our blogs do that, and that's what we need to sort of, that should be, the, the default background is rational, secular, scientific thinking about things. You kind of know when something comes up in, in, in the mainstream media and it has to do with religion, they aren't going to ask atheists for an opinion. Sometimes they'll ask religious people about what the atheist opinion is. And so it gives us an opportunity to make sure that we kind of counter that and, and uh, build our voice on that. <clears throat> well, and it actually also helps us build our voice within that media because frequently when something like that happens, a bunch of people will link to that story saying, you know, here's an a interesting piece, but why did they have to ask a question like that? Right. And people will go and comment and tell why they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they will go out and question the media's defaults. Mm -hmm. There was one, one other thing that we had mentioned, too, um, getting back to Facebook. If, if our audience aren't members of Facebook, there's these games that you go in where you um, interact trade coins, presents, and stuff like that, and I don't spend a lot of time on it, but Greg had an idea of something with something called Farmville. Do you understand Farmville very well? Sure. I, I, uh, well, a Farmville, is a, Farmville is a game. My daughter got me to do this, because she does it, mm -hmm. and in which you go in and you plant crops and then harvest them, and that's basically it. And it's, it's kind of mind-numbing, but it's extremely addictive to a lot of people. A lot of people are doing this, and there's uh, half a dozen other games I think are also addictive that people do. There's a Mafia Wars, there's a, th the other things that are right. like Farmville, but like Little Townville or something. There are places people go and spend time and then leave. And they're a little bit like Second Life, only a very, very miniature version of it. And uh, the th what we've been talking about is the idea of getting programmers who can make these things and, and to help create some of these places people just go for amusement mm -hmm. and recreation, but have them be explicitly science oriented or secular oriented where you gain, instead of just, I grew grapes, therefore I get some money I can buy a tractor with, right. I knew what caused global warming, therefore I get some <laughs> money to buy a tractor. You know, I, I understood something scientific or I made a rational decision, and therefore I got some coins to buy a, mm -hmm. you know, a, a plum tree. Some way to bring atheism into something that people are already having a lot of fun with. Right. So, um, and we're getting pretty low on time, we're getting close to about two minutes left. There's some new features that are coming in. It's like this, this is the great thing about the social media. It's like you can't rest for a second without having something coming introduced. And there's, uh, well, that's a good thing, and sometimes it's not such well, a good thing. <laughs> um, you know, blogs have been around for 10 years or so, and yeah. um, my mother's getting one now. Oh, hey. So there is always the potential for us to be divided by these things, mm -hmm. too. And she started out. Uh, she was, she kind of started out by being a guest blogging on Keish Marine too. She did. We, yeah. we don't actually tell anybody she's my mother on Keish Marine, but she is. Oh well, <laughs> nobody knows her name. Yes. But um, anyway, so this has been kind of a pretty good. I mean, I, the, they said that the time would fly back faster than we thought. We really only got. We're getting close to about thirty seconds left to go. Do you have any real quick closing thoughts? Don't be afraid of the internet. That's right. That's a good one. I think that's a pretty good one, too. All right. Well, thank you very much for listening. We're the Minnesota Atheists. We'd invite you to uh, follow the contact information on the screen. We do have a newsletter. Um, please call and request one. We'll get one out to the mail. And, and definitely come to our website, minnesotaatheist.org. Um, join up with meetups and come and get to know us. We'll have a lot of fun together.